Lakes produce methane in the lake bed. In the, the there's a thaw bulb, uh, even in thermal karst lakes, with the, that don't freeze entirely to the bottom. And microbes digest the carbon that's available. Sometimes the carbon is available from falling leaves and modern sources, and sometimes, as in the case tonight, it's available from thawing permafrost. That's unlocking carbon and making it available for these microbes to produce methane. Yep. Oh, there's a little one. Ah. <laughs> Good one, Praya. <laughs> the lake that we were at, the the the, uh, it's been carbon dated. We think that the the uh, permafrost was created uh, in the Pleistocene age, so it's thousands, tens of thousands of years old, and that's been locked up in. A, in the permafrost as it's been frozen. And now as the, the, the lake thaws that area, the, the carbon is more available. So if we are talking about a warming climate scenario, you would expect to have more of the carbon thawing. If it is thawing in with oxygen, it will produce carbon dioxide. If it's at the bottom of a lake, it will produce methane. <laughs> what we observe right now uh, is widespread warming. That's no doubt. It's everywhere where we have permafrost pretty much on a time scale of several decades. It's permafrost warming everywhere. Uh, the warming uh, is not uh, even. I mean, it's not the same in different places. In uh, uh, higher latitudes, in the colder permafrost, warming actually is much, much larger. So, for example, in the north slope of Alaska, uh, the warming uh, in the permafrost for the last 35 years is about 3 degrees Celsius at 20 meters depth, and, almost, and more than 5 degrees Celsius at the permafrost surface, so which is about 1 meter below the ground surface. So that's, that's really big. I mean, it's, it's still uh, uh, below zero degrees Celsius. It's still permafrost there. But uh, when we start to measure, start measurements in the uh, beginning of 80s, it was about minus 8. And now it's about minus uh, 2 and a half and even minus 2 uh, at, 20 meter, uh, at, at uh, 1 meter depth. So the, the huge, huge change. Methane is 25 times more effective at trapping heat than carbon dioxide. So as a greenhouse gas, it's very effective to, uh, to retain the heat. So methane being emitted into the atmosphere, and we're, we're not really quite sure exactly how much methane is coming out of these lakes, and that's why we're studying it. Uh, but if we get more and more methane coming out, this is, could be a positive feedback to uh, warm the climate, which would cause more permafrost to thaw, which would create more methane. Исследования и uh, изучение изменения мерзлоты в России очень важно uh, продолжать и интенсифицировать даже, потому что, чтобы понять закономерность изменения мерзлоты в северном полушарии, uh, без uh, исследований в России это просто невозможно, потому что очень большая часть uh, uh, вот этого environment с uh, мерзлотой, она находится в России. И, конечно же, эффект на инфраструктуру гораздо более наглядно проявляется в России, потому что в России довольно большие города даже построены на мерзлоте, 
и эффект изменения мерзлоты гораздо более существенный, чем в других местах в Арктике. So the bad news, there is no regulation on it. So as soon as permafrost starts to thaw, there is no way to stop it, no way except to stop uh, climate warming. So the only way to uh, kind of not to involve this additional carbon into the atmosphere coming from the permafrost, only way to stop it, or it's better even not to start it, is to uh, stop the, the warming in climate. For fossil fuels, at least theoretically, we have some uh, some uh, ways to uh, well to mitigate it. Uh, and this meeting in, in in Paris is one one of this uh, trying to put theory in practice. <laughs> but in the permafrost case, there is not not even theoretically possible to do anything with uh, stopping releasing of. Uh, carbon dioxide and methane from from thawing permafrost. So the only way to uh, not allow it to do it, not to increase uh, uh, air temperature in general, change in climate, which will trigger widespread uh, permafrost degradation or thawing of permafrost. <laughs>